hello hello and i don't know why i started with and welcome to true summer knits today we are going to be talking all about my summer knitting plans um patterns i'm interested in the summer and yarns i'm interested in the summer i am really excited because i've said it so many times i live in a hot climate summer is most of the year and i wasn't knitting last summer so I'm really excited to build up just some tops because uh, it's like a collection of tops that I can wear throughout the summer and really like throughout the year. So I want to talk all about the kind of stuff that's inspiring me this summer, like style wise, um, and just get into what I'm planning on knitting this summer. So we are going to get started. So first I'm going to tell you the kind of stuff that is like inspiring me style wise for this summer what's inspiring the kind of patterns that I plan on picking out and stuff. So the kind of look I'm going for this summer is, well, last summer I was very, I had this like, um, I was very into like the prim and what is that word? I don't know, I was just going for this very um, like chic polished look, like I, I liked shirts with collars and I liked was wearing like a lot of um oh my god I can't remember a single word today the word I was trying to say it's preppy that's all I wanted to say I, I dressed preppy last summer okay I had these loafers with like this little um silver buckle on it that I was wearing a lot last year and I just felt like that was my look. I wanted like headbands and just like very styled and um, polish, I guess is what we'll say. I don't know, I'm done trying to think of words. But this summer, I'm really leaning a lot more into like the casual femininity kind of look, which I feel like is also maybe trending more. The big thing that inspires me is femininity, but casual. So I want to wear like denim shorts and paper bag shorts want that kind of like going to the market, like relaxed, but put together kind of look, you know? So when I think of femininity, by that, I mean, I'm really inspired by lace. Like a lot of the stuff I'm gonna show you today, it's all lace. I'm obsessed with lace right now, like lace knitting. It's all I wanna knit. It's all I want to wear. I don't really have much like that, but that's why this summer I'm planning on building up a stockpile so I want to wear I, I bought some actually bought some paper bag shorts from Quince I think is how you pronounce it I've never tried them before it's a clothing brand but I'm really excited to try them it looks like they have really good quality stuff so I bought these like paper bag white linen shorts so paper bag shorts denim shorts flowy top is kind of what I'm thinking I really also want to knit some like thin flowy cardigans to go over to go over like dresses um because i do plan on sewing some you know flowy girly dresses this summer too as for colors obviously i talked ad nauseum about my color palette but mostly i plan on working with the lighter colors in my palette so like lighter but slightly saturated you know blues greens purples um some cool like cream or, or, or grayish neutrals I do have a couple of darker yarns that I want I want to try, but since I'm really interested in like lace and textured knits right now, I feel like the lighter colors are going to show off the lace and the texture a lot better than some of the darker colors that I might like to wear usually. I'm also definitely wanting to go flowier with my tops. Like I said, that casual look where either I can tuck the flowy shirt into my shorts or just kind of like cropped flowy shirts. I just feel like that's kind of my my look that I'm wanting to go for right now. I also feel like I want to work with a lot of plant fibers this summer um, just because it's going to be such a hot summer. It's already miserable outside. So I feel like if I want to use plant fibers, the best patterns that are going to be suited for them are going to be less tight fitting, you know? But yeah, that is kind of where I'm at mentally with my style inspiration for the summer. So now we are going to get right into patterns and thinking of trying and I'm also going to talk about the yarns that I'm thinking of using to knit those patterns. The first top that I have planned for this summer, which I've actually already started and um, I've gotten a good few rows in and it's really exciting. It's 
like I'm obsessed with it but I'll talk about that more in my next podcast. This is the Barbro Top by Knitting for Olive. It is this beautiful all over lace tank top. It's it's a Knitting for Olive pattern. So obviously it uses Knitting for Olive yarns. They recommend the Pure Silk, which of course is not a plant fiber, but it's basically a plant fiber in terms of how it acts. So that's what I'm using. I'm using it in the color Haze, which is very similar to the sample photo that they use but it's just this very light gray. And if you've never knitted with Knitting for Olive Pure Silk, when you have it like in the sunlight, it just gives off this very subtle glitter, like just a slight shimmer. So it really almost looks like, like silver in the sunlight and it's so pretty. And I'm really excited to have this top. It's exactly what I want. I'm knitting a size small when I feel like I could use an extra small because it is supposed to be tighter fitting, but I'd like it to be just a little looser, especially around the waist. I don't mind it so much around the bust, but I like the, the, the way the lace looks. I feel like I enjoy it looking a little flowier around the waist. Um, it's got a beautiful scalloped hem. It's actually worked bottom up. So you start with that scalloped hem basically, and then you knit all the way up. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. It's meant to be knit on three millimeter needles and I am using 2.75 millimeter needles. For this, I would also love, if I have the time, to take that lace chart and kind of work it into like a thin headband to wear with it in the same yarn, like if I have scraps. I just feel like that would be such a look. I don't know. I'm gonna try that if I have the time. I don't really know the way the lace pattern works. I'm not sure how I would do that, but I feel like I could do a, a full repeat twice in reverse so that it has a scallop on the bottom and scallop on the top and then maybe do like a really thin eye cord or even just use like a piece of yarn to make the ties to tie around the back of the neck i'm definitely thinking about doing that but we'll see how that goes so that's my first plan for the summer i'm already working on it and even though i started with the one i'm already working on the rest of these are in no particular order i don't even have the yarn with the other ones. These are just things I'm inspired by and things I'm hoping to maybe get around to this summer, but none of these are like on the needles or specifically about to be on the needles. But the next pattern that I am inspired by is the Ilana camisole by Masha Patterns. So this is actually kind of like a cable uh, camisole which I've never done cables before and I'd really like to try. But when, when you have those thin cables, it really good, does kind of look like a lace and it gives across like that same look I'm wanting. You know what I mean? This is knitted, she recommends like just a fingering weight summer fiber, you know, like uh, all these kind of patterns we'll use. She personally recommends tin line or pure silk. Now the color, if I knit this, I really want to knit this in like a deep, like a medium deep rose color but i'll put up on the screen like the kind of color i'm talking about but i can't find the exact color i want to knit in any kind of fingering weight summer yarn knitting for all of pure silk i don't like any of their pinks they all come off too warm i really want like a cool toned rust a uh, rose color tin line doesn't have one they have rose lavender which is i actually i bought it and it's way more muted than I thought it would be and it's just too muted for like what I'm trying to do so if if anyone has seen a color like this in any kind of fingering weight summer yarn please comment and let me know like where I can I, I will take anything as long as it's fingering weight and some kind of plant fiber or plant fiber blend I will I will try it uh Quince and Co has a color that's somewhat somewhat close I think it's called Nanny Berry but it's still a little too warm for me. So I don't think I'll be using that, but I'm dying to knit this top in that color. So if anyone has any recommendations, please comment below and I will buy it. This pattern also includes waist decreases. I would probably skip those. Cause like I said, I'm wanting a flow your fit around the waist. I love the V-neck look. I feel like for tops, I pretty much either like square neck or V-neck. I feel like those look best on me. I don't really like like the kind of like round crew neck. I do really like boat neck tops. That actually reminds me, I'm not going to talk about it too much in this video because the pattern's not out, 
but my favorite things knitwear just announced her camisole number 10 which i'm kind of obsessed with she says it comes out i think the first of june and it's just a very simple boat neck camisole which is like my favorite look and i've always wanted to knit something like that um the only thing i don't like about it is that it's knitted on five millimeter needles i think with pure silk held double and that just seems a little thick to me i don't know hopefully when some people make it after it comes out i can hear what they think about it I guess if I really wanted to, I could, you know, do math to adjust the gauge for smaller needles and thinner yarn. But I do really like the look and the, the style of that top. So I also might knit something like that. So the next top I'm going to talk about is actually very similar to the Alana camisole. It's just a little more lace than cable. It has a cable look, but it's all lace. So this is the Strawberry Fields top by Camille K. I love Camille K's designs. Not all of them I, I would necessarily personally wear myself, but style-wise, I feel like I really like the feminine, like girly, frilly thing she's got going on. And this top, I definitely want to knit. So like I said, it has a cable look, but it's, it's this uh, lace kind of leafy pattern. It is sort of a square neck, kind of like a rounded square neck, and it has slightly thicker straps. It has a really pretty edging, um, like all around the top of the top, done in twisted rib, which I feel like is so nice with those kind of plant fiber yarns. Regular rib, just because you can't, I mean, you, I'm sure you could get perfect tension if you really tried, but it's harder to get even tension with a plant fiber than it is with like a wool or something. Uh, just because the wool kind of fills in the space a little more. So I feel like that twisted rib really looks super clean in plant fibers. And I think this is just a really pretty top. Even in the picture, she has it kind of tucked into her shorts, which I said is kind of what I'm wanting to do. Um, I feel like this would look pr really pretty with some kind of like, like just thin cardigan and shorts. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. She recommends that you use, again, pure silk or tin line, like fingering weight summer yarn. It's top down in the round, seamless. I'm imagining you would start with the straps and then connect in the front and back like you would a lot of summer tops that are knitted top down. And then it's also knitted on three millimeter needles. When I look at this top, I feel like the color I would want, again, all the colors I'm gonna use for these textured knits are gonna be the lighter colors in my palette. Um, and I really wanted to see this top in like a, a, like a light sky blue. I've actually really wanted to knit something in like a sky blue color. I did knit a sock, a single sock in, in a color like that, but a garment, I really, I feel like sky blue looks really nice on me. Knitting for Olive has the pure silk in the color ice blue, which is a very icy sky blue. And I think I'm gonna knit it in that color at some point. It's really pretty. I feel like it'll look really cute with my white shorts. Um, if I ever finish that pair of socks, you know, I could wear the socks with the t-shirt with some white sneakers and it would kind of, you know, kind of match. So I feel like that'd be a look. So I think I'm definitely gonna try that at some point. So I have two more tank tops to talk about. The next one is the Fleur Cami by Brianna Mason. Again, lace tank top it's like this beautiful flowery leaf kind of lace she recommends Linnea by Sewek I don't know if I'm saying that right but that yarn is basically exactly the same as Tin Line like the cotton linen viscose blend it's fingering white summer yarn you could probably use any of them you want to this one is actually knit bottom up in the round kind of like the Barbro top is and the actual, the regular knitting is done in broken rib, and then you have like these eyelet stitches, obviously, in like a rib kind of fashion to make up the flowery lace. It's super pretty. I, I love the look. I, I, normally I prefer there to be some kind of like edge, edging or finishing on, you know, tank tops and things like that, but I feel like this one is one that really does shine with no edging. Like it just, I think it's, it's perfect the way it is. I was thinking about knitting this one in tin, tin line. This color th that I'm thinking of using, it's 5252. I think the color might be called Twilight. And 
definitely I feel like this is the darkest I could get away with knitting like a texture tank top in. It's like a deeper cool purple but their colors usually come out more muted in person and I feel like since a lot of the lace is just the eyelets and the broken rib I feel like it'll show just fine but I really love that color and I really want to make this top at some point with that. This one is actually knitted on 2.5 millimeter needles which I usually knit with like the smallest needles I can get away with just because I really like like a tighter fabric so so it looks a little cleaner. So 2.5 millimeter needles doesn't scare me. I know it would probably scare a lot of people, but I am perfectly fine doing that. So I definitely want to cast that on at some point this summer. So the last tank top I have, this is not actually laced, it's all just stockinette. And I've been inspired by this top for a long time. It's a very fitted tank top. It almost has like these bust starts. It's, it's the 7 p.m. tank by Tiffany Ty. I think it's so pretty. It just looks so like, I just imagine wearing it in like maybe a windier summer night. Like you're by a bonfire, you're comfortable, you're casual. This one, I actually would not want to knit in a necessarily like fully plant fiber yarn. It's still like a fingering weight, you know, kind of knit. But since it's so fitted, I wouldn't want just a plant fiber. And also if you look at the pictures, it has this almost like soft fuzzy look to it, kind of like some of Naked Knit's bralettes where they just look so comfortable to wear. So I know that Knitting for Olive is coming out with some cotton merino colors. I would consider that. But what I think I actually will do is use Cascade Superwash fingering because then it would be super soft and comfortable. Um, and it's a tank top so I could still kind of wash it if it was in Superwash merino. And since this is just stockinette, I could totally get away with just like a darker color than I might use for my textured knits. So I was looking at their color selection. I really like this denim blue color called Blue Indigo. So I think I might use that. This would be another thing that I'd probably wear with either like really light shorts or just like my white shorts. Um, but I just think it's super cute. I love the, the look where it's like cut off under the bust. I'm not sure exactly how they knit it. I know, I think part of it is in the round and then part of it is knitted flat. So I'm guessing either you knit top in the round and then the, the bottom in, the, in flat or the bottom in the round and then the top flat. I'm not quite sure, but I know it does involve some seaming, but it's such a simple top. I really don't feel like it'd be a big deal. I never seam anything, but I this one doesn't scare me. And I've never done anything with those kind of bust starts before. I'm not sure how they're worked. So I'd love to like learn that technique because I've seen it in some designs before. And obviously I, I sew. So I've sewn many a bust start in my day. So I think it'd be cool to learn how to kind of incorporate that technique into knitting. So those are all the tank tops I'm inspired by or possibly planning to knit this summer. The next section I want to talk about is tees and tops. So the first tee I want to talk about is the Through the Grapevine top by Bettina Wenko. I am obsessed with this. This is the exact kind of fit I like for like a t-shirt. You know, it's kind of like a baby tee. It's like, it's like fitted. It has like the sort of little cap sleeves. Um, I just think it's so pretty. It's sort of got like a boat neck, like a slightly curved boat neck. I just think the actual silhouette of the top would look really good on me and I'm obsessed with like the leafy lace pattern. I just know it's gonna be so fun to knit. I know it has a saddle shoulder and uh, I'm not exactly sure. I, I think it's just a saddle shoulder. So I'm assuming you just increase for the shoulders and that would be it, like the shoulders and the sleeves. This is knitted in a DK weight yarn. She used Drops Bell, which is basically the same composition as Tin Line or Tinlene or Line, uh, like cotton linen viscose. Drops yarn is so expensive like to get to me because even though the yarn itself is cheap, for some reason the shipping off of um, Garn Studio, I think is a website that I can get it off of, it's like $20, like no matter what you buy. So I always feel like I never want to buy drops because it's just, it's, it's not really saving me any money when I could just get a nicer yarn and pay like half the price for shipping, you know? So I think I might use Lene for this. 
I really like the simplicity of the color she used in her sample. That one's kind of like an oak color, and I think it's a little warmish for me, but I, I do like the something similar. So Tin Le uh, Line has a color called Pearl Gray, which is kind of like this cool beige interspersed with like these cool white threads. And I feel like this top would look really good in that and it matches gauge. So I think if I, when I end up knitting this top, cause I know I'm gonna knit this top, I'm gonna knit it in that yarn. I think um, some other yarn options you could use, you could use uh, Knit Picks Cotlin, which is a cotton linen blend. They have a lot of really nice colors. It's, it's, it's good, good price. That could also be another option if you don't want to use Linnae or Drop Spell. This is top down, seamless construction, the saddle shoulder, um, and she says the lace has written instructions as well as chart. I can't deal with written instructions for lace. I don't know about the rest of you guys. So I'm glad there's a chart because that's the only way I can knit lace. It's just so much easier, I feel like. But when I first started, I definitely preferred written instructions. But once you learn how to read a chart, I feel like it really is so much easier. You know what I mean? So. The next top, um, this is more of a sleeveless top than like a tee. This is Rose Root by Lean Toasty. I don't know how I'm saying, if I'm saying that right. I said the English name of the, t the top, but this is the name of the top in the original language. It's some kind of maybe Danish language. I I'm not really sure, but super, super beautiful. I've been obsessed with this top for a long time. I even though, you know, I said I'm really into like the looser fitting, I really do love the way this top looks. I love the lace, kind of like the yoke and the, the lace hem. And it's a lot of stockinette too, so it's not like fully laced the whole time. So you can kind of, you know, it's not going to be like the most complicated thing in the world. It's just a circular yoke with the lace, stockinette for most of the body, and then the lace hem and the scallop. I believe this is knitted top down. She also has different options for waist shaping, which I would definitely do for this top. I feel like this top has to be fitted. Like there is no, this would just not hit the same if it was like straight down from the bust. So I'm definitely planning on using that. She used Quince & Co's um, linen yarn, which is called Sparrow. I think she used Nanny Berry in her sample. Which I like the way the color looks in her sample, and I would use that, but when I look it out on the website, it looks a lot warmer, and I don't trust it to be that color. I mean, this, the dye lot could have changed, you know? So I don't think I'm going to use that yarn, but I do really want to try the Sparrow yarn. But the yarn I'm actually thinking about using for this, since it's more fitted, is Knitting for Olive Cotton Merino. I mentioned earlier that, uh, as of today, they're coming out with 20, they're, they're releasing 26 colors tomorrow. I think some of them are old, some of them are new. And they've been teasing some of the colors that they have. And one of them is called Blueberry Ice Cream, which is this cool purplish blue color. Uh, uh, they said it leans slightly more purple, which I like. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, I need to knit something in that. They actually came out with multiple colors that I'm really excited to knit with. So tomorrow when they release their cotton merino, I plan on buying a few different colors for like summer tops. But that aside, that's the color I'm planning on knitting this with. I feel like it's light enough that I can show off the lace. Um, and the, mer the, the merino will, you know, give the top some elasticity since it's fitted, but hopefully the cotton will help keep it cool. I don't know exactly when I'm gonna get around to knitting this, but I'm going to knit this this summer for sure. So, the next top. This is the Ophelia blouse by Tamara Jordan. Um, she has a YouTube channel, she Starcross Knits. I love her videos, I think she's so fun. Tamara, if you see this, let's hang out. This is really cute. It's like mostly stockinette, but it has these little cap sleeves and I think it has this edging that's all done in crochet, which I've never done much crochet except for like single crochets and double crochets. So it'd be interesting to learn how to do that. I'm not super interested in crochet myself, but I feel like uh, this kind of technique for using it as edging is perfect for the kind of stuff I wanna make with my knitting. So I'd love to learn how to do that. A lot of her designs have that casual femininity look that I like. Um, I definitely want to make this top. I'm a little nervous because I feel like I might feel a little exposed in it. I'm not really sure how you wear a bra and I have to wear a bra, especially with 
the top like that. But I, I, I might read through the Ravelry pro project pages and see what other people say about it, because I think it is so cute. And I don't necessarily mind having that middle part exposed. I just feel like it would look weird if I wore a bra with it, you know what I mean? So I might look at people's pictures and see what other people have done and if they wore a bra with it, how it looks. But either way, I still really like the top. She recommends knitting this in Pure Silk by Knitting for Olive in 2.75 millimeter needles. If I do end up knitting this, even though I love Knitting for Olive, I don't think I will use their yarn for this because I really picture this in like a light baby pink, like a cool baby pink. And Knitting for Olive does have a baby pink, but I don't like it. It looks a little warm to me. I, I can never tell what colors their, their yarn is. I really don't know. I wish I could go buy this yarn in store, but I don't have a yarn store. But what the brand that does have a baby pink that I like and looks cool is Quince Co. Sparrow, like I was mentioning last time. And the color is Viburnum. It's this really pretty, like, cool, almost purplish baby pink. Yeah, I, I like the little button she uses. If I knit it in a baby pink, I would try to see if I could get, like, little pearl, little pearl buttons. What do you call those? Like, shank buttons? That's what it looks like she uses. If I can get around, like, understanding how to wear it, like, with a bra or, like, without a bra or whatever, I definitely would like to wear this. I just wouldn't want to put on, like, nipple pasties for, like, a summer top. You know what I mean? Like, I'm cool with doing that for, like, an evening dress. But, like, for a summer top... I feel like that just takes away like the comfortability you know what i mean so ideally i wouldn't want to do that i almost wish it was closed right in the middle like where the middle of the bra would go but i understand why it can't be I just i don't know just the actual practicalities of wearing this kind of confuse me even though i love the look of it so the last garment that i have um is the pico summer set by amelie narenst this is super cute. It's a t-shirt and short set. Um, I'm, up, I'm obsessed with it. I feel like it'd be so cute. In some of her sample pictures, she's even gone back and embroidered like little daisies on the shorts, which I feel is so cute. I don't know if I would necessarily do that because I feel like it might kind of take away from the wearability of it. I have always wanted to knit some shorts and I feel like the summer is like the perfect time for that. You know, because I might not want to wear them going going out all the time, but if I'm having like a casual, you know, hangout thing or something, or I'm lounging around the house, but I want to feel cute and comfortable, I feel like a short and t-shirt set would be perfect for that. And then the t-shirt is also kind of polished enough that I could wear it like with jean shorts or something without the matching shorts and it would still look super cute. So she recommends two yarns, both of them by BC Garns. Um, one of them is called Alino, which I think is a cotton linen blend. The other is Summer in Cashmere, which I'm actually planning on using, I think. BC Garn is a harder one to get a hold of here, but I found a few online stores where I could get it. And I found a color that's similar to the one in the sample, but a little more like deeper and richer. This color in Summer in Cashmere, which I don't know the name, so I'm going to put it up next to it. This is supposed to be knitted in sport weight yarn. The, cotton, the summer in cashmere is like a 90% 90% cotton and 10% cashmere and she mentions that it's like really soft so I feel like that would be super comfortable and it has like this pico style edging on the sleeves and I and on the bottom of the the hem I'm not sure how that's done I'd love to try it you could also use like a sport weight cotton merino like for that softness I feel like that would be nice I just feel like for this you'd want it to be like a little soft, you know? You could use like Cascade Ultra Pima, which is like 100% cotton, but I just feel like it'd be a little heavier and just not as soft, which is what I would really want for like a loungewear set. I've never felt the summer in cashmere, but the designer described it as being really soft and like perfect for this design, so I think I'm down to try it. I've never used any BC Garn before. This is knitted on three millimeter needles. The shirt is just a top-down raglan, and then I'm guessing the shorts are knitted top down in the round. I've never knitted shorts before, so I'm not quite sure how the construction works, but um, it also has a little I-cord tie, I think, to cinch in the shorts, which is super cute. So that is all the garments that I am thinking about knitting this summer, but I do have a few accessories. I have one big thing I really want to knit, and I honestly, I can't find a lot of patterns that kind of match my design or my idea of what I want with this. But I was talking earlier about 
how when I was talking about the Barbro top, I was mentioning that I'd love to do a little lace like headband to match with it. I really like the look of like the little lacy like thin headbands and I was really looking for some patterns to kind of fit that theme and I really couldn't find a whole lot. Uh, but I did find one that I really like and I feel like you could just kind of knit this in like any scrap yarn. You could knit them to match like a top you're making or something. And the pattern I found, it's called the Midsummer Headband by Morella Moment. It's this really pretty um, lace. It almost kind of looks like cables just because the way the decreases go. But it looks pretty simple, just like just decreases or increases, I'm not sure, um, and eyelets. And it has, it's it looks like a kind of like a garter edge in the band. It looks like it's knitted from like this end of the headband to this end and not like long ways you know what i mean i can't say for sure but that's what it looks like and this is a free pattern on her blog she says that she knits it with a cotton sport weight yarn but i'm sure you could like use slightly different yarns and maybe knit like more repeats or something i feel like that wouldn't be too hard to use a different yarn if you wanted to i don't have any specific yarn that i want to use for this i think i will just end up like looking through my scraps if I feel like making this, but it would be a super cute thing to just wear in the summer. Um, and I think it is so cute and I'd love to make some more things like this with different lace charts. So again, if anyone knows any patterns kind of like this with like just thin lacy headbands, good for the summer, let me know. I would love to try some more in different gauges and stuff. I ideally, I wish it was in a fingering weight gauge so that I could just like use the last of one of my summer top quantities and just knit like a matching little headband, but it's a sport weight. So the next accessory I'm planning on knit is the Brigitte bag by Gregoria Fibers. I know she's actually got a new bag pattern coming out that's another like lace tote bag, but I don't know too much about that, but I'm obsessed with this Brigitte bag. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, very inspired by that like going to the market look so i feel like a market bag would be like the perfect look like all of my purses are a little more they look a little more like i don't want to say classy they just look a little more like polished you know what i mean like i have like a lot of like um kind of like leather handbags and so i feel like they don't always go with like the casual like summer look so i'd love to have like a knitted lace bag like this um, and it would be like cheaper to make because like you don't have to get like a super nice yarn. I think she knits it uh, in one of her own hand dyed yarns. But from what it she's listed as as a sport, but I really feel like you could probably knit it in either a sport or a DK, just depending on the size of the bag you want. I would personally recommend knitting this in like neutral in your color palette. That way it just goes with like everything you make for the summer. And I want to use a cotton for this. I was thinking Cascade Ultra Pima, but Hobby has a cotton yarn in like every weight you can imagine. And I was looking and they have uh, rainbow cotton. It's eight slash six is their sport weight cotton. And they have this really beautiful color called Mist, which is just like this cool grayish beige color. And I feel like that would go with like everything I wear if I knit it in that. So I think I do plan on doing that eventually. It looks like it'll take a while. Um, so I might just cast like buy the yarn and cast it on one day and just knit it very slowly over the course of a month or two, you know? But she says that this is knitted on 2.5 millimeter needles, which is strange to me. Like to knit like a sport weight with 2.5 millimeter needles. But I guess you can't really know till you try. I'm so bad at gauge with, with lace, which hopefully I get better at that this summer since everything I want in it is lace. I don't really know how that would work. 2.5 millimeters in a sport weight. But e e and when she even when she describes the yarn she used, it seems more like a DK to me. So even a DK weight on 2.5 millimeter needles, I have never done that before. But it's a bag, so it's less precise. You can get away with being slightly off so thankfully i shouldn't have to worry about it too much but i think i am going to use the hobby rainbow 8 slash 6 in the color mist i only have a couple more things i want to talk about and these are all some sock patterns that i like 
Uh, so I really want to knit like a collection of uh, socks for this summer. And what I'm really wanting to do is like ankle socks or just above the ankle because I, I really want to wear like some nice white sneakers with cute lacy socks this summer. And this Handmade Life has a bunch of like really beautiful lace sock patterns. Um, so I just want to show a couple of those that I'm planning on knitting. I don't have any yarn specifically picked out for these yet, but uh, I know I just want to knit it in like, you know, the same lighter colors that I plan on knitting all my garments in. So all of her socks are, uh, they usually come in like a 64 stitch or a 72 stitch. I've knitted a couple of her sock patterns and they're very easy to adjust usually because usually you could just, you know, if you if, if you only need to go like a couple stitches up or a couple stitches down, that's a pretty easy adjustment to make. Sometimes you don't even need to like mess with the lace pattern at all. Um, it's easy to extend it a little bit longer if you want it a little longer. So I, I feel like you don't have to, like if, if you don't wear like a 64 or 72 stitch sock, I don't think you're excluded from these patterns. Like usually I, I adjust, in the past when I made them, I've adjusted them to be 60 stitches. She says that most of her socks are knitted on 2.5 millimeter needles. Again, that's kind of up to your preference. I knit all my socks in 2.25 millimeter needles. Um, and all of her lace is charted. So this is the first pair that I'm really liking. This is a Midsummer Blossom sock. It's this beautiful lace ankle sock. It's got a uh, twisted rib cuff and a slip stitch heel flap, which I think from what I've seen, pretty much all of her patterns have a twisted rib cuff and a slip stitch heel flap and gusset, which is like the only thing I feel like knitting. So I feel like it works out perfectly for me. And all of her, so her sock patterns are designed to be knitted um, with Magic Loop. I'm sure you could adjust them, but I've never used DPNs before. But she writes them with Magic Loop in mind. So the Midsummer Blossom sock, I, like I said, it's an ankle sock. And it's got this beautiful, like, almost, I don't want to say honeycomb. You ever seen those fences? Like the white fences that have, like, the X's in the wood on them? I feel like it looks just like that. I would love to knit this in, like, another cool cream color. Um, cause I, I always want to knit socks in color, but I feel like it's nice to have like a couple of very neutral pairs of socks. I would definitely, uh, extend the lace, like, I might do like a, like an inch long of the lace around before I start knitting the instep, just so it's a little bit higher than just angle, because I want, like, the lace to be able to peek out when I'm wearing sneakers. But I don't want a full length sock, cause I feel like that's a little too much. That's what I plan on doing with all, like, any socks I knit this summer. Um, just like an inch above an ankle length, you know? Uh, and if the, the, the pattern has them longer than that, I'll probably just shorten them. Because I feel like that's, like, the perfect length to kind of show them off with socks, uh, with sneakers, you know? The other pair that I like, I actually bought the pattern for this already, is the Spoon Drift socks. Um, again, ankle length, uh, twisted rib, slip stitch heel flap. I think it's super pretty. It has this like um, a very similar lace pattern sort of to the Barbro top, like that kind of shell lace looking pattern, um, but it is a little different. I just think it looks super cute. Like I think I would, um, I think I'm going to knit this in the color is, it's a gray purple from Cascade. Oh gosh, it, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen. I saw it, I, I didn't make a definite plan for this, but I think it's actually Valley Yarns, maybe Charlemont. It's this uh, sock yarn that has merino, silk, and nylon, which I imagine would be super soft. And I bought this like lightish grayish purple, which I feel like would look nice in these socks. Again, with lace, you need slightly lighter colors um, and non-variegated colors or the pattern's not gonna show at all. So that's my plan for those socks. The next one is the Bluebird Cafe socks. These are all by This Handmade Life, by the way. She's my favorite sock designer. I will knit her socks until the day I die. This one, I would, again, knit an inch before the ankle, but it's got this beautiful, like, X leafy pattern. It's super pretty. I think it's meant to kind of look like birds. Obviously, it's called Bluebird Cafe. And if I knit this, I think I definitely want to find a yarn, like the color in her picture, like this rich medium blue. I think that looks super cute. 
um, and would go with like, everything I wear. The last sock pattern is these gingham socks. It's called the Summer Picnic Socks. I think this is super cute. I've never knit really anything with color work. I've done one thing with stripes, but I've never done like a color work like this, especially not a charted color work. So I feel like it'd be fun to try to start with socks. I think if I knit this, I would do it in like a blue and white gingham, you know, like Dorothy's dress. Just feel like that would be super cute. But I really am inspired by a lot of her sock patterns. And I feel like this summer, it's just like the ankle socks summer. That's what I'm planning on wearing with all my outfits. I feel like it's gonna be super cute. That is all my plans for this summer. All the patterns and all the yarns that I'm possibly planning on buying and using. Things will probably change, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, if you are, you know, interested in what I'm actually knitting, you can check out my podcast. I meant to get this video out earlier, but some stuff was going on, uh, so I couldn't. So I should also be coming out with a podcast episode in a couple of days, um, which I'm, in which I will be sharing more about like what I'm actually knitting currently. But I hopefully you you will hear more about these projects in future podcast episodes. And thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your day.